Frank knew that his house to be his last resort. But this wasn't it. He moved to LA a couple months later because he couldn't stand the 9 to 5 work ethic. He needed to be free, explore the world. But nothing can stop him now because he's free. And Frank, I told him that he didn't do this by himself. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Now that'd be every YouTube intro, but I'm going to be showing you how to get the Euphoria look and the Venture Resolve Studio 18. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up real quick because I filmed this video about like three times and my mic wasn't working. So we're just going to go ahead and skim through this real quick. I'm going to show you how to do this real quick. It's real easy and simple. All you need is like uh, an overcasted shot or any shot that you like have or whatever. But what you're going to need for this is you're going to need something called uh, Shot Deck. So Shot Deck, you can do it or... Like I said, pre-license it. I don't condone doing it. Um, I went on Shot Deck and I found this shot of Dominic Fike. I'm going to go ahead and download this. Save image. And the reason why I'm downloading this is because I can tell it's like an overcasted uh, sky. Uh, a lot of these shots are overcasted, so I'm just going to go for that. Um, after you guys download it, uh, just go ahead and... Um, Go ahead and drag it onto your timeline real quick. You are going to need some sort of experience in DaVinci Resolve to do this. So if this is your first time doing this, it may be a little bit difficult. So just bear with me. Um, lay it out in your timeline. Make sure you have it before the clip that you actually want to um, match it to. Uh, you're going to go over to the color tab. And you are going to... First, you're going to uh, highlight the clip that you want to color match. So I'm going to click this right here. And you're going to right click on the JPEG that you got from uh, Shot Deck and then do shot match with this clip. And then after you do that, you should have something like this. Now, already it's kind of looking pretty good, to be honest. So uh, we're going to go ahead and tweak this up a little bit. So uh, first, what you want to do is you want to go over to the eyedropper tool. Uh, it's called Qualifier. Some of you guys probably heard of it. But what you're going to do is just zoom in to whoever's face you're doing this on. You're going to go ahead and click this. Okay, I'm going to crash out. All right, there we go. So after you do that, you should have something like this. It's going to look real funky, but we're going to tweak it up a little bit. So um, you're going to mess around with the hue, and you want to kind of just find to where you want your uh, skin tones to be at. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and go over to, like, right here just to kind of kind of get a good glimpse of it so you want to mess with the luminance too so this is how light and dark you just really you really just want to fine tune it to be honest like it's really not that much to it like this works way better on like like wider skin tones uh, other than black skin tones just because it's more um darker closer to black so it has a long it kind of has like a hard time picking it up a little bit so i'm gonna go with something like that i'm kind of cool with that right now and which one of these you want to add denoise, and then you want to add some some black, some white. You really just want to clean it up, to be honest. Like that's really all it is with this masking stuff. It's just really just cleaning it up, to be honest. Um, another thing, what I like to do is like I try to take like a practical like these little lights over here and just uh, hit the plus eyedropper tool and then hit that. It's gonna make it a lot brighter. Um, and this is something I like to do, to be honest. Stylish your choice. Uh, so this is what you're going to have now. Um, so next what you're going to do is you're going to add a node and you're going to do an add layer. And then you're going to take these, you're going to deselect them. And then you're going to take the top one and going to put it to the bottom. And you're going to take the top one and you're going to put it up to the top. So it should be like that. So you're basically swapping it out. So I'm going to go back to my, my layer mask and turn that off. And... Um, I'm going to mess with the denoising a little bit because some stuff going on with my hair here. But um, this is what you're going to have right here. So you're going to go to something called Dehancer. If you don't have it, you can always pre-license it. Um, you didn't hear that from me. But you're going to go over here and you're going to go over to choose camera, select Sony. So in this case, I'm using the Sony FX30. And then uh, you're going to have something like this. So you're going to go up to Kodak Ektar 100. And then you're going to go down to Print Linear Kodak 28, 2383. This is what they use in uh, Euphoria. And then you're going to mess around with the target white set and kind of make it a little bit warmer. This is a really, like, teal shot. So I'm just going to, like, mess with it a little bit. And then you're going to take your halation panel. I don't know. You're going to go to halation. You're going to click enable. 
It's going to, like, spice it up a little bit. It's going to make it look really, really nice. And then everything else, you pretty much keep it the same. Not really much to do here, to be honest. You can kind of mess with the contrast, which I'm going to do right now. And then for the skin tone side, you're actually going to go ahead and um, add Dehancer on this one more time. And then now you kind of see it looks funky because the film prints aren't matching up. But um, you're going to go ahead and deselect this. Uh, deselect the print, actually. Yeah, deselect the print. And then deselect film grain. Should have something like this. You can also add halation if you want. It's up to you. And then uh, you're going to go over to film developer. And then you go to color boost. And you're going to boost this up a little bit. Not too much, but like to the point where it's kind of like sticking out from the background. If that makes sense. You want to make it pop off the screen. So then after that, I'm just going to fiddle around with this to like, to I get it somewhere where I like it. So like, obviously this is too much. I'm just going to go like right around there is fine. And then, uh, you're going to go to your exposure. I'm actually going to boost this up a little bit just cause. Just get it to somewhere where like you really like it. You want to make this as like kind of contrasty as possible. So if I play this back, it's going to look a lot better than what we had before. Actually, hold on. Take some of that color boost out of there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you get the Euphoria look. I pretty much match it up pretty much almost the same. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe. Actually, no, fuck the subscribe button. Like, actually, like, grab the subscribe button. Buy, like, the fucking vector. And then just, just fuck it, bro. Just fuck it.